All right, today I'm going to teach you guys how to disable updates, software updates, and system updates, and pretty much any update you want on not just Samsung, but any Android device. Keep in mind, it costs three dollars and eighty something cents, but if you really want to disable updates, you can. So, first off, most people we know are Android 14, so it's too late to stop the Android 14 update. But you can still stop software updates, and you'll be able to stop the Android 15 update when it comes. So, first off, go to the Play Store. <clears throat> you install this particular app. There is no other update. Don't panic if you don't have root. If you have root, you can stop the updates regardless. So, you'll open this app. It'll have you install this app, which of course I already have. Install Shinzu. This will pretty much guide you through every bit and part for the most part. So hit the step-by-step -step guide. As you see here, you'll need to go to start wireless debugging and developer options. So... What you'll do is you'll go and do the developer options. I'll show you how to do that if you haven't done it before. So what you'll do is with developer options, you well, I guess I'll show you how to do that too. <clears throat> you will tap the build number. You'll tap the build number seven times. So of course I've already enabled it. So you'll tap that seven times and enable developer options. Once you've enabled developer options, you go to developer options like they tell you. Turn that off, of course. Update the automatic updates, you can turn that off. And you will enable wireless debugging right here. And I always try to do this too. If it's not already done, then what you'll do now, you go back to your Shinzuzuku app. Once you've done the steps as they follow, you'll pair the device. Now, <clears throat> as you see, it's searching to pair the device. So what you will do here, as you see here, it will tell you to go to developer options and pair the code. <clears throat> go back to wireless debugging. I know you probably don't want to do a QR code, so you'll do a pairing device code. You'll enter that code in. So as you see, 412.174, send that in, and you're good to go. Now, from here, you'll have to start the app by doing, just click start, wait three seconds, and you're good to go. Now, go back to your disable application. And you can pretty much disable whatever you want, but if you want to just do updates, type in updates. Just type update, not plural. All right, as you see, everything update here is disabled. Um, do keep in mind it does cost money to be able to do these features. So for example, if I want to turn off software update, as you see, it's enabled. So I've, you see I've disabled, so you'll tap that disable button uh, keep in mind, what you want to do is for the software updates to completely stop all software updates, what you're going to want to do is you're going to have to stop all the configuration updates as well. So that when you want to disable all the up, all the software updates, disable all everything you see here. So, I'll give you a little preview here. Let's find something else I can disable just to show you. There you go. And that's how you do it, people. Just keep in mind whenever you go to the app, before you do anything, you are going it is gonna cost um I think it was three fifty plus tax, so three eighty change. But again, it's worth it. This uh, this is actually the only way you can disable updates. There is an app called Alliance Shield X. Um that app will actually prevent updates, but it won't disable them like this app will. So this app 
right here is your is your savior so um, I suggest you go and immediately do it. The new software updates and system updates. Android 15 will be released for Google devices at the end of the year. Uh, Samsung devices early next year. So if you want to stop, even though it's too late to stop Android 14, you have this disabled. You'll be able to stop Android 15, but you can go ahead and stop software updates uh, at this point right now. So there you go. I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave me know in the comments.